at Bunker, the philosophy has always been to think out of the box, not to think like other guitar companies, and always try to, to create something better, something that, in, in fact, we've, as I developed the touch guitar, I found lots of things that didn't work for me when I was trying to get enough volume and tone and sustain by merely tapping the strings. It was awkward and it didn't sound. And so basically, it re that was a necessity. But even besides that, in thinking out of the box and doing things different, I found that I could improve on neck designs, bridge designs, uh, uh, pickups and different things that we had especially the tension free neck turned out to be a really bonanza because it improved uh, the sound and the playability of all guitars bass and basses electric and bass guitars on building quality guitars over the years a lot of that came from uh, the structure of wood and originally on guitars i used other people's wood and I really had problems. I had problems with moisture changes where they weren't compatible. One wood wasn't compatible with the other. So when I started building my own wood, it improved the quality of my guitars, but also the quality I found that in putting a better bridge, a better pickup, a better uh, neck, especially the neck with the tension-free neck, which had the more sustain, more tone, and playability, where a set of ten strings sounded like felt like nines. People comment. We've got many comments on that. So quality was something that, in order to get playability and to really get something that a guitar player liked to play, uh, was something that basically came natural in the guitars from invention and from things that were new to our guitars that other guitars don't have. We have, we're a guitar company that doesn't copy somebody else. We build things. Our, everything we put in our guitars, basically, other than maybe machine heads, uh, we build ourselves. I always like to design things on paper. I was one of these people that scratched up notebook after notebook that someday my daughters will find my son and they'll wonder what all that scribble scrabble was. But I always scratched things down on paper, drew things, you know, drew them up as nice as I could, and then I would build those things. I just like to build things from, if I had an idea, I wanted to build it. And so I would build things, and it was my philosophy to always build, test, and prove anything, any idea that I thought was worthy. And in Bunker Guitars, it's really turned into a nice thing because it developed the things we really needed. It developed that neck that had no dead spots. Another thing that really was important on the touch guitar, and I'll show you by taking off this cover. This is a rubber mounted cover that was one part of my first patent. And the reason why it was rubber mounted was because, and there, some people say, well, why, where are the pickups? Why does that look like that? Well, it's because when you slide your right arm up on the guitar, you, you have to have something to rest it on to keep it on the guitar and keep your elbow out of the guitar string. So the cover is a very necessity. It was actually part of the patent. Under the cover, also are the pickups. Now these pickups we build, in fact uh, Rich Wilson and uh, our engineering staff build special individual pickups and these pickups are actually humbucking pickups that come off and on as you touch the guitar. That's what I was talking about making the, the guitar turned off at all times. You can get more dynamics. I actually get up to probably five, six times as much dynamics by touching this string than you would get by picking a regular guitar because now I can control the, the string, actually control the dynamics of the string. So these are individual pickups. This is actually an, uh, what's called a uh, 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 individual bridges. Actually, I call it the vertical bridge for not for one of something better. But this bridge actually, instead of being a flat bridge where the string runs over, the string runs around it, so it counters my touching. When I touch the string, it makes the string go to a quicker oval by having a vertical bridge instead of a horizontal bridge. So that's what goes on under here. This is a bridge pickup, which gets a higher tone. This is a neck pickup. It's amazing, but we can actually select through the digital means, we can select any one of these pickups at any time so that we can get awesome tone changes. We can actually get these two pickups, these two pickups, these two pickups, so that if we want to color a sound a special way, we can just do it with the pickups. In other words, we can actually program those in. and So it'll give us a lot more variety. This guitar, as it is, has a lot of color. 
I'll put the cover back on. That really is the main features of the touch guitar. Like I said, the bridges, the neck, the ability to play two necks, and the pickups and the electronics are really what, and the design. I mean, let's face it, the design is so important because balance, the way you hold it, uh, makes a lot of difference. That's the touch guitar in a nutshell.